Welcome to a introductory course to Unity. I'm going to go over how to get around Unity and how to start with your Unity C Sharp programming. So let's jump all right in. I'm going to open up Unity um, right here, drag on the window right here. Now the first thing you'll see is your last projects open. So if I scroll all the way down, I'll see um, projects that I've opened in the past and the newest ones that I've opened so far. As you see, I did create a project called Getting Started, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to create a new uh, project. So I'm going to hit New Project right here. And here you'll name your project, and you, it has to have a name. Mine will be New Unity Project. And your location will be the last location you saved a project in. By default, it is um, your user, your username, or your whatever, and then your documents, and then uh, that would be it. It would look something like this, and then it would create a folder here. Um, here you have 3D or 2D, pretty self-explanatory. In the 3D environment, you can you have the Z axis and it is visible at all times. In a 2D environment, uh, the editor becomes 2D, which means it tries it eliminates the X axis. That's um, as much I'm going to go into it right now. Uh, here you have asset packs, and here you'll have the Unity basic asset packs if you installed it with the Unity basic asset packs. Um, which would be your cameras, characters, and so on. Uh, we're not going to really use any of this um, because we're just kind of going through the basics. But if you want to load something in, you can uh, to make your project go a little smoother. Also, ones that you used in the past in the Unity Asset Store will also be used here. So um, I used the Asset Store tools, Boom Lagoon, and I've loaded them into my Unity, and here they are. So I can load them in my new project as well. I'm not going to load any of them in, uh, and I'm just going to click Create Project. And since there's already a folder named New New Project in my documents, um, I'm going to actually call it Getting Started. And you probably, you know, you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to create a folder, and that's getting created. Bam. Um, and your Unity window might not look like this. Uh, it might have the window uh, with the default layout, which you change in window layouts, uh, default, and that's how yours would look. I don't like this view since I have pretty of a wide screen. This starts to get really cluttered. I typically separate a lot of things into folders, uh, so I don't need this much space for my asset. Um, and as well as I like the console to be in its own window. Um, so I like to go to window layouts and tall. And I also like to move this all the way here, which basically it just changes every visual into a dialogue. To, uh, to show you guys that, I'm going to create something in my asset folder by right clicking and going to create. And you can go create any of these beautiful assets that we'll use in our projects. Um, I'm going to create a folder and I'll just call it new folder for right now. And as you see, it's a folder icon and I really don't like that kind of, you know, if you make it big, it doesn't really do anything for me. If I move it all the way down, I just see a new folder and I see a clip art of it right here. And that works well for me. But you can play around with these settings. And you can, you know, stretch the window by holding and dragging. You can stretch um, different parts of the window. You can also detach things. So let's say you have multiple windows or monitors um, and you can hold and grab any of these tabs and you can drag it out and we'll try to snap so you'll know you can have your hierarchy here 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 um, and as you see it snaps pretty well it can snap onto another window so if I do this I now have a tab view if I do this I now have it here um, so and let's say uh, we are you know using this like this we have it on a second monitor and we accidentally exit out. Well now, what if, you know, and then what if I have my projects here? And I like my projects here and I don't want to re reload my layout. Um, well then you can just go window and you can just go into hierarchy and there's your window. You just attach it like so. Um, and I'm making a huge mess. Um, but 
for demonstration purposes. Now, our game view, you'll see in multiple projects that you can have your game view like this. So you're editing the scene, and then you go to game view and see how the game view looks, which is uh, represented by the camera. So if you click on the camera, you'll also see what's in the game view window. But if you want to see it full and big and pretty, you'll see it here. Uh, so if you want to maybe you want to see both at the same time, you can just grab it and snap it here. And that will make it so that you see both at the same time. Now to get around the inspector, I'm going to go back here, going to load my uh, default tall layout. Um, just kind of go back to the standard settings. Um, to get around the window or the Unity editor, you could Alt to spin around objects that are currently selected. Um, so if I hit main camera and, and see nothing's happening, right? So you actually have to double click and I'll make it the central center point and now I'm rotating, pivoting around the center point, right? Uh, to pivot, actually, to go side to side, just hold down the middle key of your mouse and you pivot like so, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also, by right clicking, you can look around. So you can look into the sun, you can look into the ground, it, you know, and then you can also, then you can do a combination, right? Um, and that's how you get around Unity, really. Um, a lot of it is double clicking. Uh, I've never, um, I've, if not very often have I used uh, other methods, like I don't really use the panning tool, um, but it is there. You can also use your um, keypads, which, you can move around, do maybe do a little fly through, um, but again, I don't see that. Um, I don't use that often. I t typically click, zoom in with a scroll wheel, and kind of look around, then click on this, zoom in, you know, um, you know, right click and all because right and then right click to look around. I sometimes do, but most of it is Alt and double click. Um, and if we do anything else, I'll let you know. Uh, so that's uh, that. How to get around the inspector window basics. Now let's go into these lovely windows. Um, and it's going to be kind of uh, going to try to cut keep, cut it short or keep it short um, because I know that uh, these there's plenty. I mean, if you go through it, you have you know a hundred bazillion different ways of explaining it and uh, there's just won't be enough time in the world for me to go in depth. Um, so right now I'm going to tell you a little cheat sheet while I'm going over this. And if you find something that's really interesting or if something you want more detail about, you have this references, uh, button. And when you press on it, a magic thing happens and, oh, it takes you to the unity references, um, of that asset. So if I clicked on that, um, and now I have like a little dialog box on my other monitor. It says, you know, how do I want to open it? Of course, you know, picking my browser um, and bringing it here, I can read the things about transform. And that one has a better uh, explanation. So uh, let's get started. So here's uh, what we call a scene. So each level in Unity is called the scene. To make new f scenes or new levels, you just go to file and hit new scene. Now, it's not automatically saved. So, as you saw, um, I'm in a new scene, um, but where does the scene go? Well, you have to save the scene, save scene, and then it typically goes into your asset folder. You can save it anywhere else, um, and you can type in test, all right? And you hit save, and there you go. The scene appears like so. I'm gonna decrease this, like that, and now I have test. So if I move my camera, let's say like this and like this, and then I save the scene. So you can go to file, uh, save scene, or it says the shortcut control S, which I use frequently. I love shortcuts, uh, save scene. And then I go to new scene. My camera's back here, same default layout, hit test scene. My scene's saved like that. And there you go. Now, 
so a project is what we created in the beginning. You can save the project. Saving the project does not save the scene. Saving the project saves this project settings. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, if I go to build settings, I drag my window here, and again, uh, you can't um, tab this. As you see, it has its own little window. So it's always going to be around somewhere on your screen. Um, and to build a scene with this, uh, to build a game with this project level, you need to add the scene, scenes in build, which basically says which levels are in this project. So you can drag and drop um, like that. You can add current, which will do the same thing. It will add the current scene you're in. Um, and any scene that is not in scene in build, will not be in the project. So you can have 800 scenes, and if you only have one scene, no matter if it, that scene loads other scenes, everything has to be in here. Um, and so that's pretty simple. Uh, here you have the building platforms. So you have web and all your funny things and cool things. I'm gonna go on the PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. Your target, right? Pretty explanatory and stuff like that, and I really talk too much about the developer build, but let's go into player settings, um, and here you'll have your company, uh, your project name, uh, your resolution type, which is, you know, if you want to be full screen by default or something else, and then you want um, capture single screen, so if you have multiple screens, they'll capture one, so you can do full capture with single screen, um, and then display a resolution dialog, which is when you log on, it asks, uh, you know, what size do you want uh, this scene to be, or the application to be if you want it windowed or whatnot. Um, you can enable that to let them choose, or you can disable that to always open full screen. Um, resizable window, so you can drag it, and kind of self-explanatory, and you don't really have to worry too much about the other things right now. And if you save the project, that is what saves. Um, and in file, you also have uh, open project, which opens project, uh, build and run, which is if you go into build settings, it's right here. It's just a shortcut key. They have added that. Um, and then build the project, and then we'll just pop it up right on your screen so you don't have to double click on the application. Um, and that's kind of as far as we're going to go into the file um, description. And next we're going to go into edit. So see you in part two of this getting started with Unity tutorial series.